Raise your hands if you've done a PCR test. Hmm, quite a few hands. Let's try again. Raise your hand if you've done a COVID-19 test. Ah. The polymerase chain reaction has been a gold standard in COVID-19 testing. It helps lab technicians amplify a small amount of viral DNA or RNA into a large visible sample. Scientists began drilling deeper and deeper into the concept of DNA almost 70 years ago, which is around the same time that NASA was founded. The very concept of PCR, however, was not published until the year 1985 by an American biochemist, Carey Mullis. So how exactly does it work? The three main steps of PCR are called denaturation, annealing, and extension. During denaturation, all of the key ingredients are collected in a container and then placed in the thermal cycler. The cycler then raises the temperature to the near boiling point of 96 degrees Celsius, which is the amount of heat required to denature one sample of DNA, called the DNA template. Then, during the annealing step, the temperature falls to 50 degrees Celsius. And due to an abundance of primers, which are short pieces of single-stranded DNA that are complementary to the DNA template, they attach or anneal to the strands before the DNA can rejoin. After that, the temperature is once again raised to 72 degrees Celsius, which activates a type of enzyme called polymerase. Subsequently, the polymerase finds strands of DNA with primers attached to them and begins synthesizing complementary nucleotides from the end of the primer until it gets to the end of the strand and falls off, which is called extension. These three steps undergo Groundhog Day up to 30 times, which multiplies the amount of DNA exponentially as each strand doubles with every cycle. Think of PCR testing as a special office copy machine. Now imagine that you approach the machine holding a thousand sheets of multicolored paper taken from the International Paper Bank. You want to find out whether or not the bank's paper supply has any yellow sheets in it. So you insert the sample into the machine and tell it to copy only the yellow paper. The machine begins printing millions and millions of yellow sheets until it is obvious to you that the sample and therefore the bank supply has yellow sheets in it. Isn't it magic? Viral and bacterial testing, however, is not the only application for PCR. It's also used in evolutionary biology, genetic fingerprinting, forensic science, and cloning. Now, raise your hands if you've ever undergone a PCR test. <laughs> 